uncontrolled addiction. Let me give you one. You spend money anyhow. You don't have control. You are addicted to buying, buying. If you just go out like this, what you not plan for, you're already buying. It starts from now. Let me tell you. When my husband entrusted his finance to me, it was in my singlehood. When we were in a relationship, before we got married. That was when he entrusted his finance to me. He saw character. Character of prudence. I was already in, I was living it. It wasn't inside Mary, I started practicing it. I was already living into my singlehood, intentionally. You're very addicted, you must buy, buy. You have body spray. You now go to a supermarket, a mini mart. You want to buy, and you have it. That's how it starts. When you now get married, the man will say, which kind of woman I marry? God. Because you are always buying, buying. You see the latest thing you are buying. Uncontrolled addiction. Some of you will go out with a man like this. You will not even pity the man. You are buying all the food because you are hungry. Uh -uh. You want to finish the man's money because he's in a relationship with you. If he now marries you, what will not happen now? You will buy, buy, buy. You will buy, you, you. you. Because you've been drinking Gary before, you don't saw fried rice. You will buy the man, even though he's asking you, come on, have character. He's asking you, like, oh, take more. You, you, see, because, see, people are, he's watching. This man, this lady go, yeah, she, can she save, can she save for me? I'm not going to marry her now, I'm dead. It's only withdrawal, withdrawal, no deposits. That one, you're not a liability, because... If you're always drawing, no deposits. You're a liability. You're not an asset. Men, vision-minded men, kingdom-minded men are looking for assets. It starts from now. See, the class of person you want to be in your home, begin it now. Don't be carnally minded. Have control. Even if it's only Gary, you are soaking. Don't go for parties. You are dragging cellophane. Mm -hmm. Ladies, now we do this thing pass. Is this small chops you have no eating? You will drag. Madam, 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 come, come, come. Give me, give me now. Nah, you pass my table. Abba. What's fried rice? Even if you have no eating in two months, you will eat it. It's not fried rice. It's a matter of time. When you understand your class, there's a way you carry yourself. It starts from the mindset. It's not what you are eating. It's the truth. The mindset. Let me tell you, there are times I'll be broke. I'll go for a party. Food will not reach me. I will come home. And my friends will say, you are for me. I'm not for me. I'm just having a class. Sometimes you go for a party. Don't chew the bone. My pastor was telling us last week Sunday. Leave it. I know it's chicken. You have not eaten it in a while. Don't worry. It's just chicken. Don't chicken yourself out. You leave the bone. Just leave it. I know that, ah, man, I wish this man guy did not follow me. It has happened to me. There's one guy that carried me out. One more. We were so broke that period, my parents. And I, I was really wanting chicken. This guy took me to one eatery like this, and he liked me. Ah! I couldn't, you know, eh? Have you ever gone out like, you want to do takeaway. It's not because you want to do takeaway. The one guy was real. You wish you had eaten it there. But because of the guy, like, let me just do takeaway so you can sit down on the ground. You know, there are, <laughs> there are food that are not, <laughs> there, are, <laughs> there, are, <laughs> there are food that are not sweet on the chair. <laughs> you know, you will wash your hand there. Eh? You know, some of you, you, you know, you know the truth. You use your hand to eat rice. It's in. If I use spoon, it's not fast. <laughs> God have mercy on you. The guy took me out. I was like, ah, the guy, and he insisted. He said, no, 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 Delia. I need you to just eat it here. I said, okay, no problem. I mean, I couldn't really use fork very well at that time. And it was fork and I know some eateries there that you can just expose your deficiency. I said, ha. Ah. So what I now did was, the guy brought chicken, you know, they're like, hey, you made a mistake. It was supposed to be fish. You know, if you cannot use fork very well, fish will not really embarrass you like that. He said, you know, said, you can have the two. I said, ah, no, that's too much for you to spend. I just want fish. I said, no, but they brought chicken, you can add fish. 
So I just stayed on the fish. You know, I love mackerel, scubia. The bone is very sweet. It was painful leaving that bone that day. <laughs> ah, but I didn't have a choice. Like I had to, you get nothing, and I said, them, do you, you care for more and all of that? I said, no, but I really cared for more. Because I've already calculated my mother, my sisters. I'm like, this would have been dinner, Sha, but it's fine. <laughs> Uncontrolled addiction. The hunger will not kill you. When the person did not take you out, you were fine, even though you had reduced. Because that's how it begins. If you don't start controlling yourself now for these little things, you will not know when it controls your values. Some people have given out their value because of small, small things. I know somebody that got received an engagement ring in 100 level because of ice cream. Ice cream, no eyes. At the end of the day, no, 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 there were no longer eyes in the relationship because it took months. The guy ended the relationship. Can you receive an engagement ring? Because the guy took you out. Can't buy ice cream. Save to buy the ice cream, even if it's just save. Ladies, learn to take yourself out by yourself. Everything is not man. Take yourself to the movie, save for it. See, and that's why <clears throat> most of you are entitled. The man must come into my space for me to hang out or have fun. By yourself, just, 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 just go out with your money. And when you start thinking that way, you start making money for yourself. You've been intentional. You want to dare a business. Who told you you can't do business in school? Who told you? Even if your parents are giving you money, who told you you can't do business in school? I had a close friend that challenged me. She would be in school. She would do tutorials. She was making money inside school. Everything is normal. That's why you sleep with men up and down because you're looking for money. If you, your parents can't pay your school fees, work. I have a close daughter that graduated with a first class from Uniben. Her mom had kidney problem. At the time, her mom was breadwinner of the home. Couldn't afford school fees. She was doing tutorials. She was doing side hustle. She, was, she would make clothes for ushers. It was stressful. In the night, she wake up and be reading. That was the only time she had. For survivor, no relationship, nothing. No man. And when she comes out, nobody knows. Because why? She needs to fend for herself. She needs to pay those sacrifice. Everything is no man, man, man. You get into marriage. That's why when you get married, you want to die. Your husband doesn't look at your face because you cannot... You can't, you can't, you can't make ends meet by yourself. 